if there's going to be one take-home message from my presentation, more of the same, even with more money, is just not going to work out. <laughs> we need to really think very differently of how, not just how we fund cancer, but actually how we allocate the resources that we have. In order to get the attention of policymakers for investing in expansion of cancer prevention and care, we need to make an investment case. We need to demonstrate to them that A, there are a number of solutions that can be implemented and B, we know how. Because the ministers will be interested, what can I do on a Monday morning? If they're convinced that the burden is high, there's a sense of urgency and this is a uh, societal challenge that needs to be addressed. But having defined problems, we need to also come up with solutions, very pragmatic solutions that can be, that are feasible in different settings. So the World Oncology Forum uh, made very important strides in its meeting, in that we move beyond just measuring and defining the burden to identifying a set of implementable solutions. We were able to highlight the evidence for cost-effective interventions, but also identified how this could be implemented in different settings. So there's a transition from what to how, and from thinking of what to do towards implementable actions. The, the forum uh, discussions uh, led to the development of a number of priority areas for action. The first is having a clear narrative, uh, demonstrating uh, that there is opportunity for success and there are real success stories and something can be done. The second is, um, was around um, having a sort of coalition uh, to develop a social movement, a broadly based inclusive process. The third was around um, innovation um, for implementable actions that includes actually uh, improving infrastructure, capacity in human resources, as well as information and data systems. The fourth was balancing sort of global and local. And the, the, the key theme around was, there, was, there, was the global ambition with local solutions. Uh, the fifth area was around an inclusive innovation agenda for impact, ensuring that broad set of stakeholders are involved uh, in developing a shared set of priorities to achieve implementable innovations and solutions to achieve large-scale impact. Sixth point was around using existing platforms and networks, specifically harnessing the momentum around universal health coverage and the sustainable development goals, but also more local practical uh, platforms such as the City Challenge, which um, was initiated by UICC but now is being taken forward um, uh, as a standalone uh, initiative. Uh, and finally, um, the, there was consensus around developing a financing instrument, of a, even a global fund for cancer. That, that's going to be catalytic in its nature, not to create another vertical fund, but a catalytic funding to harness the fragmented set of um, financing systems that currently exist for cancer, bringing these together to more effectively invest in countries to improve efficiency and effectiveness of the, of the um, services provided in, in different settings.